log into the mobile app with the login credentials. The dashboard will show the total number of vehicles and their status running, stop, idle. Total number of kilometers will also get displayed on the dashboard in the format of the graph. On the map page of the application, you will be able to see total number of vehicles being tracked by software in the form of the cluster, and by clicking on the cluster you will be able to track the exact location of the each vehicles. On the map page, option for map selection is available including a default, hybrid, satellite or terrain. Zoom in and zoom out features are also available. On clicking on the vehicle icon, an info window will be displayed on the map page with vehicle number and by clicking on the vehicle other details will also be updated including vehicle status, ignition status, today's distance, speed and address. History. By clicking on the date, the vehicle running status is displayed which includes the start point, running time and kilometers, address and the stoppages time. Next on the mobile app, is displayed the list button which allows the users to view all vehicles in the form of the listing view. The various status including running, stop, idle, inactive and no data are available. The listing view displays the vehicle number, today's kilometers, last data update time, address, status from time. Users can also call the immobilize the vehicle, view the replay view, call the driver, check the status for the tracking device power and the other parameter of the vehicle including the AC, vehicle battery percentage, vehicle fuel percentage. Clicking on the vehicle number will navigate to the map page, and thus all information can be accessed from the map page. Reports page allows you check the report of the vehicles and also export and share with other users. Others tab on the mobile application allows you to perform the following functions. Users can select the vehicle and time period from the menu and click on the Show Results button and the complete details will be displayed. Total running time. Total running kilometers. Total stoppage time. Start point. Running time. Stoppage time. Users can select the vehicle and time period from the menu and click on the Show Results button to view the replay view of the vehicle. Play button needs to be clicked. Users can also select the type of the map, settings and the speed of the replay view. The users can create the track link by selecting the vehicle and validity. After creating the link the link can be shared with the share button and deleted by delete button. Users can select the language of their choice as per requirements. Vehicle details can be edited by the use of the edit button. Notifications can be enabled or disabled with the help of the toggle button. Vehicle can be immobilized with use of the toggle button. Parking mode can be enabled to get notified on the movement of the vehicle in the form of push notification. Users can also navigate to the vehicle's location from their location with the help of the navigate button. Users can also share their feedback with the admin. Privacy policy details can be accessed via the screen. Profile details can be managed by profile tab. Various notification sounds can be selected by the notification sound tab. Users can even create geofencing using the mobile application. Login to the admin application. The dashboard shows the status for the following. Total vehicles. Running vehicles. Stop vehicles. Idle vehicles. Inactive vehicles, these are the vehicles not sending data from last 48 hours. No data vehicles, these are the vehicles which didn't connect to the server. Expired vehicles, these are the vehicles which have expired. Expiring in 30 days, there are vehicles which are going to expire in next 30 days. Total credits available with the admin. Next is the map page which displays the details of the vehicles in the form of the cluster. Users can select the type of map as per requirements and zoom in and zoom out of the screen. Next is the Users tab on the mobile application which shows the list of the users with their name and profile name. The Login button allows you to log into the particular user. The Edit button allows you to edit the details of the users. Also new users can be added to the software with the Add New User button entering the details and pressing the Submit button. Vehicle tab provides you with the details of the vehicles with their status running, stop, idle, inactive and no data. 
Vehicle's location can be navigated with the Locations tab. Users can view the details of the vehicles by the View button. Details can be edited with the help of the Edit button. Commands can be sent to the devices with the help of the Command button. On clicking of the Command button the prompt will display and ask to select Operator or the APN. The predefined commands will be populated on the tab and enable you to send the commands to the SIM number defined while adding the vehicle.